Hi, this is Tim Camp for Native Instruments. In this video we're going to look at how quick and easy it is to make a filthy analog style bass sound in Native Instruments Razor with just an oscillator, a filter and some shaping. Razor is technically an additive synth but it works just like a subtractive or virtual analog synth so it's pretty easy to use. If you don't have Razor you can google NI Razor and the first link will take you to a page where you can download the demo version. Razer is a reactor instrument, but if you don't have reactor, you can use the free reactor player plugin and use Razer just as you would with a full version of reactor. First, we bring up reactor, select the Razer folder from the player menu on the left and double click the Razer instrument to load it. To initialize the synth, click the patch name, open the nine Aerosmith folder and select the init patch at the top. This initial patch is just a sawtooth wave with a low pass filter on it and it's pretty meek sounding. First we'll turn off the filter to get the full range sound, then activate the dynamics and shaping section. If we click the effect name at the top of the dynamics and shaping section, we can check out the various effects and hear how they sound on our sawtooth oscillator. The clipper effect gives us a really loud, dirty sound, so let's stick with that. If you're familiar with synth programming, you'll notice that we're doing something unusual here. Typically, one would start at the beginning of the signal chain when designing a sound, and the dynamics and shaping processing occurs at the end of the chain. We're taking this approach here because the clip has such a profound effect on the patch, it makes sense for us to work with it on the whole time. We can hear an example of this if we turn the clipper's drive knob up to between 2 and 3 o'clock. When you play and release a note, you'll hear that there's a little harmonic burst during the release stage where the clipper stops working. We can get rid of this quirk by turning down the amp envelope's release time. Now we've got the clipper effect set up, let's head to the start of the signal chain and begin crafting our sound. Click the oscillator type at the top of the OSC1 panel to bring up the menu of available oscillator types. The sync noise and sync dissonance oscillator types give us a pretty rough and ready sound when they're run through the clipper, but we're going to go for GeoSaw. This oscillator sounds really harsh at first, but this is just because the ratio 2 knob is set so high. Turn it all the way down, then adjust the beatings knob to control how quickly the saws beat rhythmically. We're going to go for about 9 o'clock here. Now we've set up our oscillator, we can adjust the timbre of our patch to taste with the oscillator's colour knob and the clipper's drive and fold over knobs. This doesn't have to be a complicated process, we can just sweep the knobs until we hear the sweet spot where each one gives us the kind of character we're after. We can make our sound more involved with some comb filtering. If you click on top of the filter 1 and filter 2 panels, you'll see they offer different filter types. The comb filter is only available on filter 2 and is selected by default, so all we have to do to apply it is click filter 2's power button. We can use this filter to take out some of the rougher, higher frequencies, giving us a smoother sound. To fine tune the mid and high harmonics in the sound, we can again return to the colour, drive and fold over knobs. drastic effect by activating safe bass which uses Razer's additive synthesis engine to ensure that the low end of the sound is always waiting.
rather the sound was stereo rather than mono, you can add a stereo effect such as chorus, stereo spread, or unisono noise. 